my audience members. Hi, everyone. Okay. We just recording. Uh -huh. And then at the end, just show the audience my all of all of you guys again. I got them there. Okay. Hi guys. Thanks for coming today. So um, I'm going to be talking about um, a story about myself and my personal experience and someone that has impacted my life in a positive way, has changed my views a little bit about the way like I see things. So um, growing up, I was very shy and timid and very scared of authority and what people thought of me and I, I never really broadcasted who I am and what I'm about and the things that I like and I don't know, I really like dancing but I would, I would never in a million years dance in front of anyone because you know, I was scared of what people would think about me and their judgments and things like that so um, I grew up with my cousin Sierra and she was uh, my best friend and we did everything together and I told her everything and um, so I always knew there was something a little bit different about me when I was little growing up. This is about third grade. So um, I was in about third grade and I always knew there was something a little bit different about me. I tended to like girls a little bit more than I like guys and like I had a crush on my babysitter and like I don't know it was all weird for me anyways because like I, I on, t on media like this guy and girl you know like I never understood what any of that meant and I was in third grade I didn't understand what bisexuality meant or anything like that so um, I never told anyone I didn't tell my cousin Sierra I didn't tell my mom and I most definitely didn't tell my dad um, I was scared about what they were gonna think I was scared they were gonna make fun of me and I, I knew they would always love me but maybe love me a little bit differently and um, so yeah so one day me and one of my best friends were hanging out with my little sister she's eight years old and like we were just talking giving her boy advice basically she's in third grade you know like she I didn't think she knew much about boys and just kind of talking to her about what to do if she likes someone and just kind of like giving her little tips and it was silly and I kind of jokingly said like oh you know it's okay if you like girls and she was like oh yeah I think I could and I was like Really? You know? And she's like, yeah, I think I, I think I might be a ladies gal. I was like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> you know, she's eight years old and has all this confidence and she doesn't care about what anyone else thinks. And, you know, she told our mom and she doesn't, you know, she didn't hold back. And um, I feel like that's something that has inspired me a lot and, and the decisions I make. And sometimes when I'm scared to do something, I'm like, Hmm. What would Sophia do? You know, that type of thing. And I know that she wouldn't hesitate and hold back on who she is and what she believes in. And this very young lady has taught me a lot, and um, I'm very thankful. And uh, something that I've learned about myself and what I could work on is um, being myself um, unapologetically 